Hello, today I wanted to share with you some of the variables that you can set for LSP in order to make it look more minimalistic. The reason that I wanted to create this video is because of an exchange I had with a user that commented in one of the previous videos. He stated uh, quite a bit of things that I agree with him. Uh, it was regarding the way that LSP looked by default, uh, stating that it was too intrusive and that uh, it was just too annoying to look at. So. I agree with them uh, to, the, to the extent that I disable LSP whenever I'm working on a personal project that I know by memory, you know, and if, if it uses an API that I'm, you know, quite aware of, I don't really need that documentation popping off everywhere. So I just disable LSP for those cases. So what I wanted to do is read up the documentation and get rid of all of that so that I, I could have LSP active and really get advantage of all of the things that I like, like, you know, highlighting some warnings that the compiler might throw at me, or maybe I just forgot a semicolon and before even compiling, I, I, I can notice right away that I have to insert it and such. Um, I'm also gonna show how LSP looks by default. This, to sum up what's gonna happen, I'm gonna open a project, I'm gonna open a file. So right off the back, uh, you can see that there are buttons where the preprocessor keyboard is. There's also a header bar, uh, I don't really use any of that. I don't have any use for that. You're also going to notice that the LSP UI pop-up keeps showing everywhere, right? And you can see that there's, you know, quite a bit of uh, comments for, for those functions. So it, it, it really, you know, it's a huge pop-up and it's, it's really annoying to look at if you already know how the function works. Let's say that you're using company like I'm doing right here. And you don't really need any of that. It's just a visual clutter that is, you know, distracting you, or at least distracting me, if I'm, I'm being honest. Let's say that you just, you know, type all of the, the parameters and, you know, the, the pop-up keeps showing up at the top of the screen. You can delete them. And if you delete them and insert the parentheses, then it's going to display at the bottom of the screen. Again, this is useful if you don't know what the function, you know, signature looks like or what the parameters are. Uh, but if you know the, you know, the function by memory, this, this just becomes uh, uh, annoying. At least for me, it's annoying. So again, all I wanted to do is get rid of all that uh, stuff that was annoying to me. And I, it was quite easier than I thought. In fact, I just added these small things that I uh, took from, uh, directly from the, you know, the documentation from LSP. They suggested this for performance things of, as far as I was concerned. I also don't care for the log IO. I, I, I don't care for that. So I just disabled it. And these are the things that I disabled for, for LSP in order to make it more minimalistic. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to open the, the project the the same file actually and you can see that there are no more buttons there's no header bar at the top of the screen there is no annoying you know pop-up showing everywhere if i if i want to look at you know the type i can just look at the bottom of the screen and, and there it is if i go to a you know a function definition then it, it it's telling me exactly what it is it's uh it's a function that returns a, an SEL window and it takes those parameters. And, and again, this is uh, good enough for me. One of the things that I do like about LSP UI is that it's going to tell you the errors. Uh, but the way that I have it configured is that if I delete the semicolon right here, uh, it's going to tell me, it's going to highlight the next line. That's, that's just the way it is usually with IDs and this sort of thing. But it's telling me what the error is. Just insert the semicolon before. And um, those kind of things are useful to me. And that is the reason that I wanted to have this configuration out there. In case you're, you know, someone like me who also don't enjoy having like very much visual clutter in your editor. Um, anyways, it, this, was, this was a really, you know, short video, but I still wanted to, to put it out there in case this is useful to someone, of course. And as always, if uh, you have any questions or comment, you know, just uh, do it. <laughs> and thank you for watching.